Good morning. Hello. Hey, we have one question. Are you from Maine or where are you from? What's that? Are you from Maine? I'm from Massachusetts originally. Hey! I said wicked awesome. That's what we say up in Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah. I just said that. And she noticed it. She yeah, because I was like, what she does that mean? She said wicked awesome. I'm like, oh, that's what we say. Uh, yeah, I have the definition over on the left-hand side of the bumper sticker there. Yeah. Oh, oh, it says it right there. Wicked awesome. Yeah, but I didn't know it was like, she was telling me that that's what that's they what say, say. And then she says wicked, um, wicked awesome. Wicked whoopee pies. Or wicked whoopies up from Maine. <laughs> whoopee pies. I don't know how long you've sure, been. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'm As a matter of fact, this is uh, 20 years this month that I moved out to Arizona. Well, this is almost one year. This is why I'm sweating bullets. I'm so <laughs> sorry, but we're just, we just moved down here from Gloucester. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Gloucester. 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 So, Gloucester. we're just finding out how to pack our car down here. And uh, Well, typically at the end of September, you'd think that a burr month, that it would be fall and 106 no. tomorrow. Yeah. No, last oh, week I said, oh, I think I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I've made it through my first summer. <laughs> now it's going to be gorgeous like when I used to just come to visit my son. But Strategically, now, this is why I moved this time of year. I figured that when I moved here that most of the crazy hot weather had is coming to an end. Yeah. So it would give me the most amount of time to acclimate before the next blazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you've been here 20 years. 20 so years. let me ask you this. Um, when we get our first little, like, kind of cool spell, like 60s or 70s, long sleeve or short sleeve? <laughs> Good question. Well, I, I still have some of these long sleeve things. <laughs> That's the only excuse I have to okay. put it on. <laughs> Listen, and, okay, well, then now you might be like, I'm half, I'm like half too sewn in that. Because you could tell someone, I'm originally from Colorado, uh -huh. and my mom, uh, I was like, man, it's cold. And she's like, what is the temperature? And I'm like, oh, 75, and I have a long <laughs> sleeve. And she goes, I'm going to disown you. <laughs> you grew up in Colorado, and then now you're there. And that's mm -hmm. how you know, because you get used to it being so hot, right? right. That, it, like, 100 and whatever. So when it gets down to the 70s, you can always tell new people, because they're right. marching around in shorts, and we're like, eh, you yeah. know, have our, like, yeah. stuff on there. If wherever they live, wherever your family lives, yeah. if it dropped 40 degrees from what you're used to, you would put on something warm, right. too. Right, right. Hey, yeah. I'm going to steal Good that. I'm, listen, don't disown me, Mom. Just look if it's 40 yeah. degrees, you know. If it, if it was, if whatever you're used to, it yeah. drops 40 degrees, you're going to put on something. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, so that is that is so true. Couple some slack. I know, no, she gives me a hard time. Well, we, we weren't keeping people. All we were doing is we know that many people know that we're in the neighborhood quite frequently visiting our neighbors where religious people were Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay. But one of the things that people didn't realize about us is we offer a, a Bible education course as well. And one of the questions we were sharing with our neighbors is many people wonder why people grow old and die. And can the Bible answer that question? And so would it be something I could share with you? One scripture? Sure. Sure. All right. So right here in Romans, Romans 5, verse 12, it's so interesting, right? It says, it's small there, that is why just as through one man, right there, sin mm -hmm. entered into the world and death through sin, and so death spread to all men because they had all sinned. And then if you look at this one, it says 14, it says, nevertheless, death ruled as king down from Adam down to Moses, even over those who had not sinned in the same way that Adam transgressed, who bear a resemblance to the one who was to come. So that scripture there, it answers, we all, um, we're, we're related, but we're not related, right? We all come from a common ancestor. And so regardless of, of how healthy we are, at some point, what do they say? Death and taxes are two things that are globally, <laughs> humanly inescapable. Yeah. And what that scripture helps us to see is, because we come from all a common ancestor, from someone who sinned, which means to miss the mark or not mm -hmm. to be perfect, right? We say, oh, well, we make mistakes. So when people say we make mistakes, that's a way of saying we are not perfect and that we, we all sinned and that we all um, so share. So what, what was the significance of Moses from Adam down to Moses? What happened when Moses came along? Well, from Adam to Moses, it's just saying that um, 
you know the bible's big on and on ancestry right mm -hmm. like a common ancestry so just all the way from adam and then just a marker from moses and then right and then through. and then all the way and then and then all the way through right so when you think of bible uh uh, people in the Bible, right? Um, Moses, Mar, you know, Aaron, all of those different things, right there. Matthew, That's, Mark, Luke, and yeah, John, Matthew, all the way like, down. All the way through there, right? So, but, but what do you think the specific rationale might have been for who who, who wrote Romans? Is that Paul, right? Yes, Paul. yes. So, good. so who? So, what is the significance of him choosing from Adam? He could have said from Adam to Abraham. He could yes, have said right. from Adam to Noah. He could have, he yes. could have said from Adam, Adam to Daniel. Why? Yes. Why did he choose yes. Moses? What? What was the what was the, what That's do you think was question. the yeah. reason why he didn't say up until this very day? Why didn't he say, if it was Paul, why didn't he say from Adam to Jesus? Why did he choose oh, Moses? Right. Yeah, yeah, that's very actually, good. that's a very, a, a very excellent, a very excellent uh, question yeah. there. And like I said, I, just, I was just bringing out about, uh, about death and I mm -hmm. definitely, that's something I haven't had the opportunity to research and I'll be honest with you, but I definitely can that's research good, it good research and find point. the answer and find the answer for you if that's something that you're interested I mean, in. What do I you, could, what do you suspect it would be? What do you suspect the rationale for that would be? I mean, I know, I, I'm not saying, oh, no, come up with an no, answer no, that no. we can't have. No, and, and let me tell you, I'm going to be totally honest. Honest. If I don't know, if I don't know the answer, I'm not going to pretend that I right. that I do know the answer, and that is definitely a fantastic. Yeah, question, yeah. A, a question that, that's awesome. you're, you're, and you're the first person honestly that has ever asked but that. you're clearly both bible readers oh absolutely and, and we don't have, don't have the answer for everything so, but <laughs> we do yeah. have plenty of research materials absolutely that we, now, yeah. the only thing and i'm not saying that this is the reason yes. but i am saying that mm -hmm. with moses came the mosaic law yes okay. and things at that point actually did change a little bit not death of course death did not change um, but then there was a whole new set of laws for the Israelites. So, and Moses was such a patriarch that they looked up to that just maybe in a poetic way, although she's going to look it up and no, give I'll you look a, it up. She's going to give you a I will. real I biblical answer, not yes. just our opinion, because no. we don't do that. But <laughs> I'm just, yeah, but I mean, just, I'm just spurting this out uh -huh. that um, Moses was such an important patriarch to them, and they mentioned him in a lot of writings. And so, in a in a poetic way, it may have been part of this scripture that all the way from the first man, all the way to even our father Moses, who they totally respected and looked up to, and who brought the Mosaic law down from Mount Sinai and all that. So, so that then could in, the, be it. in the context of, uh, I'm, I'm assuming one of the reasons that you read the scripture is because the, the reason that we grow old and die is yes. because of sin. Yes, right? yes. sin, right. And yes. so then in Romans, if Paul was saying from the inception of mankind, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. all the way to Moses, yes. mm -hmm. we were paying the results of a forefather sinning. Yeah, absolutely. So yes. something changed when Moses came around where Mankind was no longer they, they had a they had a path forward for redemption. Oh, and we definitely absolutely Jesus paid the price for our sins. We definitely mm -hmm. have a path forward for for once through all once for all kind, right? Like right. Jesus, he paid the price for all sins, right? So a propitiatory sacrifice. So right. agreed. So I definitely agree that we have a path forward. I just don't want to say I don't want to misspeak on that particular point there when I don't know and I don't and I want you do you see what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want you know, not I was to respect it. I don't want you to say Well that's what I was hoping for. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. if we read the Bible we can have a conversation about yeah, it. Yeah, right? no. So we don't have to say, well what's the right answer, holy smokes. It's yes. Just, right? No, and you know what? Here's here's my here's and the reason that I don't wanna um, say what's not the right answer, uh, <laughs> holy smokes Right, it's because <laughs> right. it's holy smokes. Is because it is because um, you you have to read the Bible and use scripture to interpret scripture. Yeah. And 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 listen, we're we're all we're all humans, mm -hmm. right? And so if we use the Bible like in, like an in education, right? If you go to someone who's a neurologist and he's the one who's written all the books on these things, but I'm learning. I don't want to say, hey, you know what? I think your brain is right here. <laughs> <laughs> when the neurologist is like, no, it's right here. So that's kind of just how I feel about it. I don't want to say something that is off the mark when I haven't effectively 
uh, researched or, or educated myself on, on that point. And I think we can respect that. Just like I respect the deep question that yes. you, the deep question that you, that you brought. It's an and I think question. it deserves an excellent, not just uh, Off the cuff. throw throw uh, mud on the wall type so of answer. So what is it? What is it like for you, ladies, when you know you're you're talking to our neighbors and you're you're talking to people out in the community, and somebody comes up with just a a question out of the blue? You know, so, I mean, you, it's a three thousand oh, yeah. page oh, book, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. I mean, yes. So if you're talking, oh, yeah. if, you're, if you're encouraging Bible reading, absolutely. What's our, what are some of the more interesting questions that people have asked you when you've been engaging with the community? some amazing questions mm -hmm. that we cover in our little short Bible study with three mm -hmm. lessons. Uh, why does God allow suffering? Yep. Um, what what happens when we die? Yep. Um, we have a whole list. Those in our, are answers to some pretty big questions. Yes. Those, but those, we have researched so much over the years, just like it sounds like you're a real good researcher. Um, or a Bible reader as well. Bible reader. Yeah, I was just, I mean, yes. yeah, I didn't know you were going to read me a scripture yes. from Romans. I was just responding yes. to oh, what no. I was reading. No, I, I love it. No, I love it. Wrote it. Yes, and you know, and you knew, who, and you knew, and you knew who wrote it, and you knew who wrote it as well. So yeah, no, absolutely. We uh, there's lots of those different questions people ask. Um, I'm trying to find we that try to list. answer life uh, answers to life big questions, right. right? Like why why are we here, mm -hmm. right? So because. As humans, right? Like we read that scripture, so we're all related, right? We're all we're all re related. Mm -hmm. All humans everywhere want to be happy, right? Have a we good all family have, life, have right? a good family life, and everyone wants to know what is their what is their purpose in life, right? Mm -hmm. So science, everyone has said we uh, we start from a common ancestor all all the way down, and the Bible helps us to give us those answers, right? Happiness is being spiritual, right? Most, you can have as much money, people aren't, aren't happy. You can have a big house, you're not happy. So people are always searching for meaning and purpose, and that is universal. And looking through the Bible, the Bible helps us like a textbook or a manual uh, for universal purpose of good living, like why we're here, why we grow old and die, how we can truly be happy, even even parenting, let your yes mean yes, let your no mean no, <laughs> right. train up a child in the way in which he should go, right? So just, right. you know, helping people to see that, uh, that the Bible can be a great book of wisdom, and many people have not, you know, just taken the time to research it, and a lot of people who aren't even religious, uh, it can give them answers to a variety of different things so that's what we're encouraging um, our neighbors in this month was uh, we were uh, doing a special Bible study uh, program do you have a little uh, I have a brochure, brochure. I absolutely yeah. do and so that way uh, I was... and you know what I was just gonna say about when we go door to door because you asked this question yes. Not many people will take the time to really stand here yes. and talk yes. to us and say that they do have a deeper question that maybe we should research yes. and get back to them. So you're like 10 steps ahead of everybody. Literally. Because, oh, because you are. Wicked on Now you're just trying now like that's just, just flattery. Just flattery, no, no, just no, flattery no. there. No, no. But like I said, so this little brochure, like it says, questions that we meet with people, and people are so nice. How did life begin? Why are we here? Why do innocent people suffer? What happens when a person dies? And if everyone wants peace, why is there so much war? What will happen to the earth in the future? So the Bible encourages us. So that's what it says. Keep asking, keep searching, keep keep looking, right, for those answers. So that's what we were doing is just encouraging our neighbor to look into the to look into the Bible to find answers to these and how the Bible can benefit us. Yeah. And if I could just stick in if I got my two cents. Can I get you ladies? I got some water in the fridge. Oh. I look like we're going right back to the car. I know.